is Lena and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a reading vlog. So this is gonna be an, I would say, a, an interesting reading vlog because I have a little project this week. Let's gather all the books. I don't have all of them here. So this reading vlog is gonna be Oh, I have one more book. So now <laughs> let's talk about the books I'm gonna be reading and why I'm gonna be reading them. So I'm gonna be reading these three books. Why? Because they are nominated for an award and they are, I don't know, why don't I, what? Am I just saying? So, there is this award here, like, I think in English, let's see. It's the Latvian Annual or Annual Latvian Literary Award, I think. In Latvian, Latvia's Literatūrs Gadabala, Lali Gaba, in short. And in a one category that is for pro. I think that's this category for best prose. There were four works, like in every category there are four works nominated. And one of them was my friend's book that I read and one of my favorite books from what, last year, River or Uppe by Laura Vinogradova. So I decided to read the rest of the books in that category. So this vlog won't be really, I don't know, really interesting for most of people because these books are not available in English. You can watch this and see my thoughts about these books, but... So, I'm gonna be reading these three books. The first one is Tiger or Tiger is by Janis Jonjevs. This is a story collection by this author. And I haven't read anything by this author, but uh, there is one book by him in Latvian, it's called Yalga Vadevindas in Chetri, but it is it has been translated to English and in English it's Doom 94. So I'm interested in that book by him, but we'll see when I get to reading it. But now this one. Then I have White Dress or Balta Kleita by Inga Abele. And this, from what I got, is a short story collection, too. I'm not sure if I'm right or not, but that's what I got from the back and what I read. Yeah, and then the last one is The Writer or Raksti Itaya by Inga Gail. And this is, I don't know if this is a novel, like biographical novel about writer Ivan de Kaye. She's a Latvian author. And right now, I feel like I have read something by this author the book is about, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna look at it and then update the vlog about that. But yeah, so I have started. I've read two, kind of two stories yesterday evening. And so far, the first one was... I don't know if it's a story, but it was like full of these little sections that kind of are written by different characters. Of course, it's written by the author, but for example, there is Carl is 20, 35, Julie uh, 13, like the name and the age. And there is even a son that is, there were like seven watts how old that is but yeah there is sun then there is the best novel in the world that is zero years old because it's not written yet but yeah that's the first and then the next story was about it wasn't like stated but from what i got it it's set in this kind of department at World War II, Germany. And there are bombings and things, but yeah, it was interesting. So far, the both things I 
read were interesting. So let's hope I'm gonna succeed and read all of these this week. It's a lot, it's like I think it was over 600 pages, but it's not impossible. So let's hope I'm gonna read them. And then I think if I get a chance, like if I read them quickly and I have a time to spare, I'm gonna reread this one. So I will be able to compare all of them. What I think is interesting that three of these books, like the ones I'm gonna read, is published by the same publisher. Then look, there. these three are orange. These two authors have the same first name. Both are Ingus. I think that is interesting, like, similarities. But yeah, so that's for this week. Hello, it's been a while. I'm like bad <laughs> with updating, but nothing really happened. But I finished the book I started at the beginning of the week that I think I mentioned that I'm gonna start with this one. But yeah, I didn't feel too well for the two days, previous two days, so yeah. That's why I'm updating you just now, but I read at least, so yeah, I finished this short story collection. And I was pleasantly surprised of how much I enjoyed it, because like, lately, if you've seen that I've been quite disappointed with the Latvian authors I read. Like, I don't know, I guess I like set my expectations too high and then I don't enjoy the books and yeah, so I feel disappointed. But I didn't expect much from this one, but I kind of... But at the same time, since it's nominated for an award, it should be good, I guess. But I read it and I enjoyed it. I like the kind of paranormal, mystical things, the stories with those elements. But yeah, so it was really interesting. Some were like short, some were longer, but the ideas behind a lot of the stories were really interesting and I enjoyed them. One story was about this thing that once in a while just time kind of stops and countries disappear for a moment. And with every time, like more and more countries disappear. But they return after a while, so that was really interesting, like, how they dealt with that. It was interesting, yeah. So, I like, like, fantasy, sci-fi is my genre. I like those. And stories with those elements I enjoy the most. And I definitely will be reading other books by this author. I know he has one that is available in English too. That, that will be the one I definitely read. And then yesterday I picked up the next book, the next nomination, and it is the writer or Rakstitaya in Latvian by Inga Geil. And this one is like a biography kind of about Ivan Lekaye, that's Latvian author. And the, uh, she was in women's rights. She was a women's rights activist. So not just a writer. But the book starts really weirdly. It starts with her death, like how she died. And then I looked up on the internet, like more things about her, because I have read one novel by the author that this book is about. And it was interesting, but I read it like six years ago based on Goodreads. And I don't remember a lot. But we'll see uh, what I think about this more. So this is the read for now. So far, it's weird. Like, the chapter was weird. But we'll see what is next. But now I'm going to go back to work and that's it. I'll update you. I don't know if I'm going to update you later today or just tomorrow or when I finish this book. And yeah, so we'll see. 
how well I'm gonna do with reading this one today. So that's it for now. Morning. It's Saturday morning and for a change I'm not gonna stay home all day. But I'm gonna do a little update because yesterday, really late, I finished Rex Daya, the writer by Inga Gaila. And as I've said before, this is about a Latvian writer, Ivan Dekaya. I actually didn't know that like it's her pseudonym or how do you say that word, that I thought, I knew that the last name is not hers, but uh, that's why I was like thinking, why is her husband calling her that? Because her name is Antonia. But it was really interesting, let's say, because it moved from the end to the beginning. Like it started with her death, with how she died about the circumstances and then it went back before how she got sick she had a not a heart attack but like aneurysm i think it's called like in the brain and she was paralyzed one side of her was paralyzed and she didn't hear but she lost her hearing when she was a kid she heard some things but really really badly so, yeah, and it, it went back. And the overall feeling of the book is really sad. I don't know, that was my feeling when I read that it's about this unhappy woman. In her youth and childhood, there were happy moments, but in general, the most of the book is in this sad, like, tone. And it's like a glimpse what was the time when she lived, how women were kind of only meant for family, for children, just getting married and having children, not like doing something for themselves. And a lot of men wanted that from women. Of course, there were men who was okay with women going to colleges, getting educated and like dedicating themselves to their careers and not having kids, but most of the men didn't understood stood that and didn't want that and her husband didn't understand her. So yeah, it's hard like to read how women were treated and how people expected them to behave and expected them to do some things. So, yeah, it was interesting. The writing style was like a bit, at some points I didn't understand what's going on, but I liked kind of the letters. There was one chapter that was letters. One chapter was her diary entries. There were not like, there wasn't a lot of from her perspective, most from people around her. Some were from her perspective too, but I feel like most was from people around her, except the diary and the letters. So yeah, that's that. I finished this one. Then I already have in my bag, I'm gonna take the third one. We'll see if I can finish the, the reread the fourth nomination, but I'm gonna read The White Dress by Inga Abele, Balta Kleita. And I think this is a story collection about women because the titles of the stories are women names, female names. But we'll see how it goes because I have no idea. Are they connected? Are they not? But yeah, I will start this one today and then we'll see. But now I'm gonna have my breakfast coffee and then we're gonna go off to do things. <laughs> we're gonna work in a garden and I'm gonna help do some things. Oh, it's time for an update because I've finished Baltakleta or the white dress a story collection I think this is my least favorite from the 
three that I have read, but not because it's bad. It read really well, but I just didn't connect with the stories. So there were how many? Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine stories about nine women and they were told from like different perspectives from the women themselves or from people around them but yeah <laughs> there were some good things but yeah like overall feeling i just feel that i didn't connect with them but yeah so this is the third book for this week that i have finished the third nomin third from the fourth nominations that I haven't read and now can I read the one reread the one I had read before I hope I will try and then the last update will be when I do a wrap up yesterday I was like I think I had a clip I read a bit outside but we worked in a garden we did some things and we planted some apple trees so it was a busy day and I was so tired in the evening and I'm still feel I still feel tired and my arms hurt my back like shoulders here hurt because I like don't do a lot of things and yesterday I was moving my hands a lot so yeah but it was good like doing something for a change hello I well I'm not gonna read this one, like reread it, because I started to edit this vlog and I feel like it's a piece of shit. So I don't know what to do now. If you're seeing this, then I managed to put it up. I think I'm gonna like film this and clip and then we'll see how I feel about it later. But yeah, so I started editing and I don't like it. I feel like it's uh, oh, there's a lot of mess. I don't know, if, like I'm explaining bad things that I think. So yeah, but so I can like put everything aside. I'm gonna film this and clip and then like wait a while and see what I think. So definitely, I don't know. Not definitely, but I don't know if the vlog is gonna go up when it was meant to go up. That is tomorrow on Monday. I don't know. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. If you're watching this, then I have decided to put this vlog up. If not, then not. So, yeah. But I had a really good reading week because I finished three books. I don't know when was the last time that I read so much in a week like three books but yeah so <laughs> I enjoyed like them all I can't say that any of them are bad but my favorite one like my, my ranking of these three are like this at the top there is Tigris or the Tiger by Janis Jonjevs then there is Rakstitai or the Writer by Inga Geil and the last one is Balt Kleta the White Dress by Inga Abele. So, yeah. I enjoyed them. I still think, like, f f with all the nominations in mind, because I have read them all now, this is, like, my top. The River is at the top, because I enjoyed it, really enjoyed it, last year. So, yeah. I'm happy about the fact that I have read all the books in the prose, best prose category for the Latvia, annual Latvian, Latvian annual liter, literature award. I don't know what's the correct English title, but yeah, so I have read them. I'm happy about it, but I'm disappointed <laughs> with the vlog, so I'm not in a great mood right now so yeah that's gonna be it if you're watching this i hope you enjoyed it because it means i uh, put up the vlog but yeah 
Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.